Now, we're foaming at the mouth about Ryan Fitzpatrick. Owner Woody Johnson, who should have a press conference every day, as far as I'm concerned. I think he's great. He thinks a deal will get done with the quarterback. Now, the owner wants him at the right price. The fans want him, too. So, frankly, what's the problem? And it's true. The Jets need Ryan Fitzpatrick. Last season, except for that final game, he won. He was a winner. He had them one game away from the playoffs. Now you've got all pro receivers back. You've got Matt Ford in your backfield. Okay, you're a part a few million bucks. Well, you know what? Let's work this out. Get Fitzpatrick behind center and work towards winning the division and getting into the playoffs. Yeah, here's the problem. And, and you're right. Number one, Woody Johnson is fascinating in front of the camera because you honestly do not know what's going to come out of his mouth. He's Remember, the best. This, the th best. this is a guy that said you can never have too much Tebow. Uh, you know, John, I think, though, the Jets and, and Fitzpatrick are not doing a good enough job here in trying to meet in the middle. The Jets are treating him like Chase Daniel, and you can't do that off of what happened last year. They offered him $7 million a year. If you want to find some middle ground, you have to come up off of that. Should Fitzpatrick get the money that Sam Bradford did? Well, no, and that doesn't mean that he's not as good of a player as Bradford. It just means the Eagles are dumber than you are. <laughs> but you have to find something, John. Why can't the Jets come to 12, 13 million, something like that, to make Fitzpatrick know that he is valued? Here? Or give him a little less, but put incentives on it. So if you get us to the playoffs, if you get us to the Super Bowl, we can move on. But this is the team that signed Tim Tebow, that signed Michael Vick, RG3. They're kicking the tires. So New York. Be careful. You want Fitzpatrick in that back. Yeah, you know, look, I understand that there are not many places for him to go, but if they get burned on this, this is, in essence, closing a window that's slightly open to begin with of winning a championship. I honestly believe if Fitzpatrick is back, the Jets have a chance to win a championship next year. I really think that. I, I agree. And by the way, how does Geno Smith feel through all this? Talk about the forgotten man. He was the starter until he got hurt at the beginning of last year. And now, I don't know what to say. I don't think Geno Smith has a chance to lead the Jets to a winning season if he is the guy.